much for watching this video. My name is Sandra and this is my channel Finding Inspiration with Sandra. Uh, the most inspiration that I found is actually from Korea because Korea is a country that inspired me so much. So I decided to talk on my channel about Korea and about stuff that I like about Korea. Uh, this video will be about how I discover Korea and what I like so much about Korea. So, for me, it started uh, actually in 2012 when I was uh, on the, I was working a uh, season job in the Croatian city, small Croatian city, Sartat, and I had a roommate uh, that was really, really obsessed with Korea, Korean dramas and Korean language. And uh, I must tell you, uh, at that time in Croatia, we didn't know about Korea that much, except it is a country, it is in Asia, and that is kind of it. So, but she was already uh, knowing all about Korean music, Korean dramas, Korean language and one day we, when we were free, uh, she decided to watch with me Korean movie. So it was her one of her favorite movies. Uh, she asked me to give uh, a chance to Korean movies because I never watched it uh, until then. So the movie that she uh, chose, uh, it was 200 pounds beauty. Uh, and I really liked that movie, it was a really fun, it was unique and I had a great laugh and also it was a really fun and interesting to hear totally different language that I ever heard in my life so it was, a, it was fascinating for me, especially because I love to learn languages uh, on my own uh, My season job was uh, uh, finished and I went uh, back to my hometown, I, uh, I was studying again, I also find a job, so I was working and studying and I didn't have time for anything and I completely forgot about Korea, about Korean movies and everything that my roommate was talking to me about. Uh, but one day, uh, one hot summer day, uh, in 2015, uh, I remember I didn't know what to what to do because it was really really hot, and uh, I decided to watch something. Uh, but I didn't want to watch uh, any more American dramas, uh, so I wanted to watch something fresh, something new. And then I remember that I was actually watching some Korean movie uh, with my roommate. And I decided to try to some, find something else. Uh, when I, while I was starting to search about Korean movies, uh, I, see, I saw that there is Korean dramas as well, and I decided to try it, to give it a try to watch Korean dramas. So uh, my first Korean drama was uh, My Princess, uh, and I decided to watch it because it has a really uh, cute poster, and uh, the actors were cute, and the story was a really cute, romantic and because I'm sucker for romantic and I really love that kind of stuff I decided to give it a try so what is it about like theme of the Korean dramas like about goblins about ghosts about uh, even romantic it is not the same like in the American dramas so romance is not like about kissing uh, or getting hooked up with someone, but it is actually about really cute stuff, uh, like romantic scenes, uh, when uh, mainly it is giving umbrella uh, to the girl and uh, I don't know, uh, it is raining and they don't have umbrella, so he has a jacket over her and himself and uh, stuff like that. So I never paid attention to, for example, when guy is putting a necklace around the girl's uh, neck and it is it is so romantic in Korean dramas and you can't stop thinking about romantic stuff like that and it is not anymore about kissing like it was in American dramas because it is uh, it is more about that cute stuff and uh, how Korean uh, Korean leads are acting in that cute stuff and also Korean dramas and Korean actors are really really amazing in acting so uh, it is really fun to watch because of that too after that uh, all is the history I am big uh, K-drama <laughs> addict and uh, I'm really really uh, enjoying so much in watching Korean dramas but if you are starting to watch Korean dramas, uh, you're also getting into more Korean stuff. So because of Korean dramas, uh, I was uh, watching all the Korean dramas and one of the Korean dramas that actually made me to uh, explore more about Korean music uh, was Drama Fate. 
uh, and yeah, there was uh, the main actor is one of the main actors is Imi Ho, and yeah, I watched uh, like every drama with him, <laughs> so uh, that was also one of the dramas that I watched with him. And I really liked uh, the soundtrack uh, of that drama. It was Carry On by Ali, and it was totally different. So. Usually I really like also uh, music and when I hear something it just catch my uh, ear, I, I want to know more about it. So I just stopped watching drama and I must tell you, it is not like usually to stop just watching Korean drama because you really want to continue to watch and it is really hard to stop watching in the middle of the drama, but it was really stronger uh, to know more about that song. So. I stopped watching and I went to YouTube and I researched about that song and I listened to the whole song and it was a really really good, I really liked it and I didn't know at first what uh, they are saying in the song, uh, I was listening without translation and I felt emotion, I felt like pain, I felt love, I, I, I felt all those emotions and it was really fascinating for me because how you can feel all those emotions when you don't understand what this song is about. So that was really blowing up my mind and I wanted to learn more about, about that song so I searched for translation, it was a really amazing song, really amazing lyrics and because I also love to write poetry and stories uh, I was wondering what kind of inspiration you need to have to write that kind of song so I uh, actually started to pay more attention because of it to Korean soundtracks and whenever I found some good Korean soundtracks I would listen it, I was trying to understand the emotions behind the song, uh, why that song is for that scene and, and, and else. Uh, so, but if you are already in Korean dramas, you are already in Korean music because of the soundtrack, because if you are listening soundtracks you want to explore other Korean music, so you found out about BTS, Super Junior, NCT, uh, One Us, One We, etc, etc, and all the Korean music as well, so it is not just K-pop, it is Korea has so much amazing music, and it is, uh, it is a shame to not just try to listen all. So, uh, but while you are watching Korean dramas, the hardest thing of the Korean drama uh, watcher and lover, uh, it is actually to wait for the subtitles. It is uh, really hard to watch uh, without subtitles, and if you don't have English subtitles, you don't understand anything, almost anything, if you are a beginner Korean drama addict. So, you know, like words like we, oppa, kimchi, and stuff, and you are randomly saying that word even sometimes you don't know what something means like kumane or like that uh, and you started to want to learn Korean language because you think it is really easy to learn Korean language but you are so wrong, so wrong and you find the YouTube videos like learn Korean, learn how to read Korean in two hours, learn Korean letters in two hours and you're like okay two hours I can learn that and now I can watch uh, Korean dramas without subtitles <laughs> but you just get into that and you understand that you know you can read Korean but you don't understand the thing still and uh, you just got more immersed in Korean language, in Korean gram grammar, you find other people that are learning Korean and you just want to learn that fascinating language but you understand while you are learning it you actually realize that it is even more fascinating language that you thought and you are getting addicted to language. You, you, you can't stop learning that language so you are learning it and it is not anymore actually because of the drama the subtitles or because of the music but because you really want to understand what are they talking about you want to uh, find more materials about Korea in Korean because there is not so much materials for example about Korean history in English and stuff like that so you are really frustrated and you want to know more about Korea but if you're already into all that you are also into Korean food you find out a lot about Korean food from Korean shows and one of my first Korean shows and I'm still watching that show uh, was uh, Running Man. It is a really really good show, it is a really really fun show, it was really unique and I really enjoyed it from the start in that show so and I was really grateful because I learned from that show a lot of uh, Korean uh, singers about Korean places about uh, about the really really amazing stuff and I had a much laugh while learning about all that. While you are watching Korean shows and Korean dramas there is so much 
delicious Korean food and they are showing it like in every scene almost and I recommending you if you are watching Korean dramas or Korean shows uh, and you are hungry don't do that because it is impossible you either eat while you're watching or you either eat before because if you are hungry you, you will need to eat trust me you can't watch Korean shows or Korean drama when they are showing you food and not to be hungry it is impossible at least for me so that is my advice eat <laughs> uh, but yeah so you are already into all that you're in Korean culture you want to know about Korean history you want to you want to know everything about that country and but you want to eat so the next step you're going to Korea. You don't know how, you don't know uh, when, but you decided to go to Korea. So I went to Korea in 2018. I had the time of my life and it was a really, really incredible. And uh, people around you actually are asking you, why do you want to go to Korea? It is so far. It, it was actually uh, the first country that I traveled by the airplane and also uh, the first country that was the I was the longest uh, out outside my country in foreign country and also uh, it was the first one they are asking you uh, why do you want to learn Korean why don't you want to improve your English why don't you want to learn French German or I don't know any other language and you don't know how to explain it you are just obsessed so much about that country. You, you want to know everything about it. You want to know about history. You want to know about culture. You want to know about about everything possible. You want to be you want to have every piece of that country in your mind, in your soul, in your heart. And that that country is so so much in you and you don't you, you can't explain why. And I still can't explain. Like when people are asking me why do you love so much Korean dramas? Why do you love so much Korea? I don't know how to explain it. Except I I love their culture. Uh, I love how they are uh, how they are to their elders, like they having a respect to their elders. How they are saying uh, thank you for the food. Uh, I will eat well and all before food, after after the meal, before the meal and stuff like that. Yeah, we have like bon appetit uh, or in creation the Bartek, but it is not like in the that same level like in Korea. At first when you are starting to avoid it and uh, it was kind of weird like they are having a lot of uh, formality in the speech and stuff like that. But when you got used to that, you, you can't imagine Korea without it because you understand that Korea, it is part of Korea, it is what Korea is. And you got so much immersed in that language and after you visit if you didn't visit Korea and you want to visit and you think it can be like in the dramas, it can be like they are talking about others that are visiting, it can be like that for me. But when you are got from the plane and you start exploring Korea on your own in life, you are there, you see all those palaces, you, you are there with the people, you, you're just there, it is game over for you. You, you will fall in love even more in Korea, if, if it is possible at that point, but it will be game over for you and you just don't know why. I, 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 I like to joke that Korea has some spell and it is putting on all Korean drama lovers and Korea lovers and uh, I'm really happy that I, I am under that spell because uh, uh, that is a really magical country and because of that country uh, I met so many amazing people who are into Korea, into Korean music, into Korean dramas. Uh, I learned so many amazing uh, native Koreans that are living there or uh, all around the world and that are helping me each day with my Korean and when I have a question about Korean culture and about Korea and stuff like that. If I didn't meet Korea and if I didn't meet all those people I don't know, to be honest, how my life would be because I can't imagine myself right now without knowing about Korea and about talking about Korea whole time and sometimes uh, people around you who are not into Korea, they don't understand why, why are you so obsessed, why are you so fascinated with Korea, but people who are, who are big lovers of Korea, they understand you. And that is why Korea community is a really, really amazing and you can find so many amazing people. So <laughs> if you want to know, 
if you want to be part of a really amazing community, if you want to learn so many amazing stuff about Korean culture, if you want to um, watch the best dramas and best shows uh, and try to eat the most delicious food, but yeah, it is never the same when you are going to Korea and when you go home, uh, you just keep thinking about Korea, even it, if it passed like three years, you want to go there again. So I, I just wanted to invite you to come to this amazing Korean land world and to be part of it because you won't be disappointed. You will uh, meet so much amazing, so many amazing people. You will uh, have so many amazing friends from all over the world and you will find so much amazing music and dramas and shows and food and well everything. You, you you probably can see how much I love Korea, but I don't think I can explain that love uh, for Korea in the words, in simply words. So when people ask me why do I love Korea, they just I do. I don't know why. I don't know. Well, I know kind of how this started, but I don't know. I don't know why. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really tried to make this video uh, shorter, but it is impossible for me to stop when I'm talking about Korean drama. I I shortened it a bit. Uh, it was a bit. It was even longer. But uh, yeah, uh, I am I am wondering. Can you tell me in the comments uh, how was it for you? Uh, how did you get into Korea and Korean culture? What was your first drama and have you visited Korea and how was it for you that visit? Because I know it was for me really unforgettable. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Bye!